You guys know how it is with fine hair. You blow it out on day one, it looks fabulous, until you sleep on it and then bam, it looks flat and lifeless and terrible and that's it. You either wash it and start again or you don't and you live with the fact that day two to four just may not look that cute. Today I'm gonna to show you four days of styling fine hair without washing in between. I'm gonna give you tips and tricks for sleeping, I'm gonna give you very cute look ideas, show you some products you may have never seen before before, and I'm going to take you along with me and my family on our summer week off. Let's go. Today's video is brought to you by Lily Silk. I've talked about Lily Silk before, and I genuinely just love this brand. My goodness, you guys, they just have the most beautiful things. This gorgeous shirt that I am wearing today is by Lily Silk, and the reason that I love it so much is because of how incredibly chic and high-end it looks, but also because Silk is a natural temperature regulator, so I find that I never ever get too hot or cold when I wear it. It's just really, really comfortable and super breathable. Another really amazing thing about this brand is that they are environmentally conscious and they are committed to zero waste production. Even the fabric remains are used to make accessories like the scrunchies and the silk eye masks. In today's day and age, it is incredibly important that we are eco-focused and aware when we're making our purchase decisions. If you want to learn more about Lily Silk's zero waste movement, I will leave a link to that specific information in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Today is wash day. The first tip I have for you is to do a double shampoo. Shampoo number one gets rid of the surface level oil, debris, and buildup. You may notice that you don't get a lot of lather with the first shampoo, and that's because it's picking up that surface level gunk and flushing it down. The second shampoo is what finishes off the scalp and the hair cleanse. If you're a one shampoo gal and you don't shampoo daily, then I highly suggest that you start adding that second shampoo in because you will get a longer wear from your style before you get buildup since you're starting really clean. Because you don't have buildup on the hair, you may notice that you get a lot more volume in your style as well. Now of course we add our conditioner after our shampoo, staying away from the roots, giving it a solid five minutes to penetrate and do its job, and then we rinse. Prep is everything on day one, so let's start with some instant lift thickening spray by by Kristen S. I spray it all over my hair to pump it up and then I go in with Shine Shield Heat Protectant Cream by Skin Research Institute to ensure that I am protecting my hair and minimizing any potential for styling damage. I brush everything through from roots to ends and then I start my blowout. Now this is a tool that I actually cannot live without because my hair is very frizzy and actually very wavy. If I want any hopes of achieving a smooth style that isn't pancaked to to my head, which is what a flat iron does to my fine hair, I have to have to blow it out. This specific brush is by a company called Blow Brusher, but they are very limited in the countries that they sell to. There is an identical one by Timo that I just got and I am obsessed with it. I'll leave a link to it in the description box and I'm going to be doing a whole video about it very shortly, so stay tuned for more about that. The next tip I have for you is to start with as much volume as possible on day one. How do you get great volume? You use Velcro rollers. I like using a Mohawk placement, waiting for the hair to cool, spraying with Sebastian Shaper, which is my favorite flexible hold non-sticky hairspray, and then releasing them. I did an entire video on Velcro rollers. I know you guys have a lot of questions about them, so I will leave a link to that video in the pinned comment below in case you wanna check it out next. And there we go. This is what day one looks like. It's super voluminous. It's very shiny and bouncy. I took my kids to play at the park when it was majorly hot and there was tons and tons of humidity and as you can see it deflated a bit because that's just the reality of our hair type but it was still really beautiful nonetheless. Now in order to take a shower every day what I do is I plot my hair in a silk scrunchie so that I don't get any dents from the elastic and I put on a shower cap to minimize frizz from the steam of the shower. Here's an interesting tip that you may have never heard before. Before bed add some dry shampoo to soak up any of the oils that occurred throughout the day 
and to absorb any sweat that may happen when you are sleeping. You really want your style to last a long time so that you don't have to do all of this work again and get more heat damage again. So try to prevent things from happening before they even happen. Stop the oil and the sweat from ruining the style before it has a chance to with dry shampoo. Finally, every night I apply my MD Hair Restore Serum on any areas that are thin, which for me is on the front sides of my head, and then I'm ready for bed. Now at the risk of being dramatic, here is a life altering trick. Silk pillowcases are amazing for maintaining your style throughout the day because there will be less friction on your strands. Look at how gorgeous this silk pillowcase is by Lily Silk. What's even better is that these pillowcases also make our skin less prone to sleep wrinkles as it's less likely than cotton to cause resistance against the face that can lead to wrinkles. The same reason it keeps our hair frizz free, it keeps your face wrinkle free. If you end up buying one thing from this entire video to help your hair look great, it should be this. This is the one thing that's really going to allow you to wear your hair for multiple days without washing it. When I woke up on day two, my hair looked like this. It's flat, but it could be worse for sure. There really isn't that much frizz, so we can use this as a staple to build up another style. The first thing I do every morning is I use a touch of dry shampoo again to freshen it up, and then I style it. If you wore your hair straight on day one, wear your hair wavy on day two, because wavy is more forgiving if it's less perfect. I've shown you this style technique a few times, but it's definitely my staple. From the ear down, I rock my flat iron up and down to create a soft bend at the bottom of the head. When the hair gets longer at the top, I take a one inch curling wand and I wrap my hair around the barrel by twisting it. This twist technique is what gives me a wave shape and not a ringlet, not a curl. I love this look because it's very modern and it looks super duper flattering pretty much on everyone. If you want more specifics about this technique, check out this video next. I'm also going to leave it in the pinned comment below. If you want more volume and a really worn in kind of gritty vibe, then finish it off with texture spray. Surfer Girl by Sexy Hair is really good for achieving that kind of salty lived in result. Today was beach day for me and my kiddos, so I put on my bikini and then I used my favorite green blouse by Lily Silk as a beach cover up, believe it or not. Because this material is so breathable, you can style it up for business wear and I often wear it to work or you can totally style it down for casual lifestyle wear too. The vibrancy of this color is so stunning on the beach. I felt great in this all day long. My husband, kids, and I rented this tiny house style cabin near Goderich in Ontario. So after the beach, we headed over there. I know this is a hair video and this is what my hair looked like after being on the beach all day, but is this cabin not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Oh my gosh, we had so much fun. It was a tiny house adventure. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave the Airbnb link in the description box. At the cabin, I didn't wanna be extra and bring my silk pillowcases with me, so I brought my silk bonnet instead. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this really is the key to maintaining any hair look throughout multiple days. If I just sleep on a regular cotton pillowcase, it makes it so much harder to restyle my hair the next day. This is a life changing thing. This really is the most important thing you should get out of this video. This is the morning of day three and this is what my hair looks like. Today I'm gonna to explore the area with my family so I just want my hair to be out of my face and I don't wanna spend even 10 minutes waving it which means I'm going to do my favorite French twist hack. Pay attention to this, this is awesome. I put my hair in a loose ponytail, I split it in half, I feed the hair through the split, I tie off the ends and I tuck and pin them in. Then I very quickly wave the front in the lowest heat setting possible for a bit of framing. Look at how gorgeous this looks and honestly it took all of five seconds. And then back to the beach we went. That evening I was going to my sister's 40th birthday party and I wanted to look a little more glam. And because my hair was already on day three, I didn't want to style it down anymore because it just didn't have much life left in it. When you get to flat and lifeless stage of hair, 
try some slick styles because you may be surprised as to how much you like them and how beautiful they can actually look on you. On this day, I did a super slick up style with a middle part. I added a Luxie hair ponytail extension and I curled it with the same one inch wand I was using previously. Check out this dress I wore from Lily Silk. It's a burnt orange tone and it's so flowy and so stunning. I got loads and loads of compliments on it that night. This is honestly one of my favorite dresses that I own and like everything else can be totally styled up or styled down depending on how you accessorize it. Finally, this is how I woke up on day four. My hair was just done and I wanted to give it a break from any hot tools. So I decided to put it in a pull through braid. I have a full tutorial on this exact style right here. So if you love it, head on over to that video next so that you can learn how to execute it on yourself. At this point, if your hair has too much oil, you can hide the front of it with an accessory. This really will get you through to that last wash day. This one is also by Lily Silk and it's so nice and soft it doesn't tug on my hair or create any damage but it also totally stays put and there you go five different styles on four days with fine hair lily silk is having a 12th anniversary sale right now from august 1st to the 31st so click on that link and check them out if you use my code gabby12 you can also get 12 percent off lily silk everything you won't be disappointed you guys it really is luxury in a box it's a super super beautiful store with some gorgeous pieces. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.